If you are watching this very video, you are at the right place at the right time. It's not by chance that God led you here. God has a word, a message for you. I'm talking to you. You who are currently feeling like you are on trial by someone who think that they are your judge and jury. But God says, no, my child, I got a word for you. All right. Are you guys ready for today's morning devotional? I am. Y'all ready? Let's go. Let's get into it. It's your girl. Hello, 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 everyone. It's your girl, Rowan. I'm back. Back with another message. Back with another word. Back with another prophecy back with another video yes you guys i'm back and i'm back as promised and it is now time for our daily devotionals with ro and we are in our morning devotional you guys i want to try to keep these morning and evening devotionals going to keep you guys motivated and on track and in the right place at the right time doing the right thing with the right person okay all right amen let's go all right the title of today's devotional is open court okay open court all right before we get into this devotional i want to get into a quick prayer okay father god in the name of jesus we thank you heavenly father for your love your grace your mercy we thank you heavenly father for life itself god we thank you heavenly father for the opportunity to gather together again in your name god to come and be devoted to you and, and and learn more about you and learn your will learn your way god and uh, ask you for your guidance and leading us in directing our paths in the way that you would have us to go in your dear son name we pray amen and amen all right open court so i know a lot of you are currently going through some legal issues okay and some of you are currently going through some legal issues that not exactly is legal okay we got some people who are around here being our judge and jury and god is saying it doesn't matter at the end of the day yes we got legal we we have to obey the law of the land with that but at the same time we got some people who wants to condemn you to hell for the for the wrong that you are doing and god wants to reassure you he wants to reassure you that even at your worst, that he is going to continue to bless you. He's going to continue to give you strength. He's going to continue to give you grace and mercy. And God wants you, you because you are having a hard time with it. He wants you to understand that, okay? So we're going to get into this, this this devotional, all right? I'm going to read it, and I'm going to try my best to read it, okay? Because I notice that when I do go back and edit my video, I'm reading like I'm reading to myself. And I have to understand that I'm reading to an audience that needs to understand what I'm saying. Do you guys see how I have to move my lips in order to talk proper? So yes, that's what we have to do, okay? So let's get into this, this devotional. All right, so the Bible scripture that devotional comes from is John 1, second chapter, first verse. John 1, second chapter, first verse. And it, I'm gonna read the NIV version. And it says, my dear children, I write this to you so that you will not sin, okay? But if anybody does sin, we have an advocate with the Father Jesus Christ, the righteous one. Okay, now, before I get into reading the devotional, that one particular scripture is a popular scripture that people use to their advantage. Okay, a lot of people commit sin because they feel like, I'm going to do it because I know God forgives me, okay? And a lot of people use it as a way to manipulate others, manipulate the system, manipulate Christianity, manipulate church. But God is saying, no, we can't do that. That's not how, what, how he designed it. When God says, do not commit a sin, he doesn't want you to commit the sin and say, God, forgive me just as soon as you commit the sin because... Anybody who are sinning or committing sins, we all sin, don't get me wrong, but a lot of us don't do it 
consciously like we know we're doing it and so he doesn't want you to commit that sin knowing you're doing it and then immediately say god forgive me i'm sorry i know i did it i'm, I'm wrong the first thing you should do is acknowledge that you need help okay god is going to look at that as you're consistently using his grace and mercy to overlook your sins okay and so let's read it it's now there is a metaphor story in the bible that is told of a woman in open court who had to answer for the laws she broken okay the righteous judge before her had to hold her accountable for her choices so he declared her guilty and pronounced an enormous yet appropriate fine okay the kicker was that after the gavel was slammed the judge stood up walked down to the woman put his arms around her and offered to pay the cost while he was a righteous judge he was also her loving father okay so in the bible scripture god is proving his point that i am your father i am your protector i am your leader i am going to lead you and guide you into the right path however i give you the choice to choose right or wrong okay and in the midst of that i'm still your father so when you do do wrong i'm gonna be there to comfort you okay i'm and and if you are a parent you definitely understand this because you have when, with, with your children you give them choices and if they make the wrong choice you're going to support them when they need supporting to get back on track if that makes sense so you know you're telling your child hey son hey daughter don't go out there and drive drunk i don't know why that came to my mind but don't go out there and drive drunk because you can possibly get a DUI ticket or um, hurt someone at the most. And then the child does it. But you go to them and you're like, okay, you're on punishment. I told you not to do it. They end up with a ticket or whatever the case may be. And now they have to live with those consequences. Okay. So let's, 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 just, let's just dead that and just say, we know that our actions had carry consequences whether the consequences are good or bad depends on whether we do good or bad okay and so what god is reminding us that no matter what i have to be firm in what i command you to do but at the same time whenever you need me i am here to comfort you and whenever you need me, let's just say you did get yourself in a bind, okay? You know it was wrong. So you go to God in prayer. Father God, I need you. I need you to help me. I need you to deliver me. I need you to lead me, guide me. Show me what I should do next. And then God gives you a way out. That's what they're saying here. And so open court, God is giving us an open court. And for whoever I was speaking to earlier, those people who are trying to judge you, God, God, he has an open court. Go to him, okay? Ask him to lead you, guide you, protect you. F ask for forgiveness for whatever sin you committed. Ask for forgiveness for whatever it was that you did that was wrong. But they have, at the end of the day, God can make you or break you. God is going, is, is he could rebuild you back to, rebuild you back or rebuild you up to a better person okay and so god wants you to understand that in this season okay all right and so the devotional continues to read this parallels god's heart and our hope okay we crave a righteous lord who will hold the world who will hold the wrong in the world accountable and can receive the payment for our sins jesus offered us on the cross like it or not god won't impose himself upon you and make you go to heaven thankfully he doesn't desire for you to go to hell and offers to pay your fine let him be your dad simple as that god is saying i am your father god in heaven and even though i've made you even though i made you human and that your mind is not like mine 
So you're going to, you are going to sin. But I'm also letting you know that if you do choose to sin, that it's a possibility that you can go down the wrong path. However, I don't want to see you fail. So I'm going to help get you back up. But again, as I said earlier, this is not an excuse to continue to sin. He wants you to do better and be better. And if you don't notice that if you do begin to spiral or go down the wrong path and you have consistently said, God, I'm going to do better and you don't do better, he's going to allow you to continue on that path until you seek him, till you seek his face, till you seek his presence, until you understand that without him, that's what your life is going to be about. So then the, the final little prayer says, Father, your righteousness and justice are needed in this world and in my life. I praise you for your goodness too. You're exactly what we need and what I need. All right. So as God, as his children, and if you are, have children of your own, you know how good it does, how good it makes you feel to know that your children are trying to do better for you, for the sake of you, for, for your praises, for whatever it is that they're looking for in you. Okay. For your love. Most of the time, kids act out because they may feel like they're not loved enough. Okay? So they do things for your love. All right? And so God wants you to understand that he is here for you and he's going to be here for you forever and always. And that's all I have for you guys. You guys, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notifications bell. And as always, as always, be a blessing to others. Until the next video. Bye.